control. Greetings, hello and welcome to the ninth week of Fritz the Skeleton. By now you're either sick fed up of seeing this skeleton or you're thoroughly enjoying exploring the human anatomy that we all carry inside us. So whichever side of the coin you're on, you'll be glad to know this is the last of the skeleton as we uh, are reaching his soul, S-O-L-E, and that's his foot. Now I've kind of dreaded doing this because I must admit I can't remember drawing a skeleton's foot since I, went, uh, I was at art school in the 1980s. So uh, I am going to be exploring the skeleton's foot as much as you are this week. So let's have a look at it together. Now, you'll have your Albinus on anatomy books, which I sent you to have a proper look at it, but uh, you can see that there's a cluster of bones. Here's the heel bone. And then there's this multitude of smaller bones here, congregating before the toes begin. Now, the toes are different. I mean, the big toe has got three main bones. And then this toe here has got the three main bones, but then a little bone at the end, a little wiggly bone. The same with this one, and the same with this one, and the same with this one. So they're different than the big toe, which doesn't seem to have that. But anyway, let's try and see what it's like drawing the foot. So I'm going to start with this. Turn round for it, please. Yeah, sure. I'm going to start. I'm just going to do the, the foot singly as an entity. So I'm going to try and draw each bone at a time. That makes sense. Get that top bit that fits into the lower leg. Now I know some of you are just not going to manage this at all from what I've seen so far coming, especially from last week's exercise, the hand, I know that this is not a skill that is coming naturally. So uh, it's like anything, if it's a skill that you want to develop, you will develop it even if you're not very good at the beginning. If it's a skill that you truly have no inner desire to develop. There's nothing that can be done. I mean, you know, at the very best, you'll have done a course in drawing the skeleton and never do it again. But every time you see a skeleton, you'll have some faint memory of what you did in these days. So that's it. Well, you may try and draw a skeleton for Halloween. So I'm kind of just using the pencil like this, holding it at the side, as you can see. This is a uh, technique that I use because quite often I'm shading and drawing simultaneously. So I'm going to do the joint of the big toe here. Bring it in and it bulbs out there. It's always the same principle as the arms and everything else. You've got this series of interlocking joints. There's a big toe. And then this little business at the end, like a little curly cue thing at the end of it. So I'll put it in. So it's methodical. There's the second one, which is a, the big toe's fairly thick. So this is a thinner one beside it. And then these joints again, but it's of equal length. In fact, it sticks out a little bit more than the big toe, a little bit more down at the bottom there. So I'm doing that. I don't know if you can see this 
And you can see I'm using the shadowing to kind of give the thing depth. And, uh, okay, here we go again. This character in beside the bit, this middle toe coming in beside that. Out with the bones, in with that. There's thin bones. There he goes. And then this is reaching up. It kind of, it goes up the way. Up, up, up. You know, they're kind of heading up towards the set of intricate bones that are making up the top of the foot. So they're they're going up into that, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's sticking out like that. And this bit's coming out a bit from the main contraption at the back of the foot be the little toe it's coming out there. So it's not a lot to do in a whole week, you see, there I am. I've done this in uh, three minutes. see I've just used that because you know I'm not doing a scientific drawing I'm doing an art drawing of this foot some bits have gone wrong so I'm just going to articulate them better what do I mean by articulate I mean make it stand out Voila, less than five minutes, some sort of foot, that's all you've got to do. So uh, that'll be your complete the skeleton. You'll have done the head. Yeah, you did me weeks ago. Remember the rib cage? You were also scared of that. There it is, wait a minute. There, yeah, the rib cage. You've done the arms, done the legs, you've done the hands, you've done the pelvis. And this week, the foot, do a drawing of the foot. You can see I've waffled that out in five minutes. And uh, then we're gonna slowly change over. I'm gonna get you to do some, uh, I'm gonna get you to look at a film about an artist and do a little, uh, essay is too strong a word, but a, a few words of your opinions on that artist. And then we'll get round to you doing your own individual works, whatever those may be. And uh, you can send them in to me as they progress, if you want, for advice. And we will build up a, some imaginative paintings. Now, what else have I got here? This came this week. A fortune-telling machine, Zoltar. So let's see what he says. God knows what comes out of it. Zoltar. Hear your fortune from Zoltar. Remember, it is a great deal better to do all the things you think you should than to spend the rest of your life wishing you had. That's nice. Well, it makes sense. Thank you, Zoltar. <laughs> so, heeding on his advice, we'll go on next week. Uh, where we'll be doing something. I'll send you some information about that next week. But in the meantime, enjoy yourselves. All you have to do is this, and you'll have completed the entire anatomy of the skeleton. For some of you, you'll have the art bug and you'll want to do more and more and more. For some of you, it'll be an endurance that you've completed, and that's good. At least you've managed to do something once and get it out of your system, and that's it. Finito. So over and out for now, until next week, I wish you a great week and 
Take care. All the very best to all of you. Bye.